So we're here with Catherine Dunn, who is joining us as part of the Isla Festival. She's one of the Irish writers that's involved. Welcome. Thank you very much. Good to be here. It's great to have you here. Thank you. So first, could you tell us a bit about your connection to the Spanish language and how it's influenced your writing? Well, my connection to the Spanish language started when I was very young. Um, my family in Dublin was one of the first families to take a Spanish exchange student. Uh, the whole exchange mechanism was only beginning at that time. And uh, my father met with a, a priest through coincidence from Valencia who said that he, had, he was starting to bring over a group of students. So I think when I was four, we had the first Spanish student in the house. Uh, and the connection has lasted ever since. You know, we've been to them, their children have come to us and so on. So the connection has lasted over several decades now. Uh, and that sparked my interest in the language because I learned a little bit from them. Uh, they used to tease me a lot, obviously, but, you know, I still learned a few words. And I did Spanish then when I went to secondary school, which was quite unusual. Uh, Spanish wasn't, as, wasn't taught in nearly the number of schools, say, that French or German was. But I did it at secondary school and then I went and lived in Spain for a year and then I went to Trinity College and continued my studies there. So it's been something, it's been kind of a thread all through my life uh, and I feel as much at home in Spanish as I do in English and I get back to Spain as often as I can. Um, in terms of the influence of my writing, I think it's more the, the, the effect that li uh, leaving a very, very claustrophobic small community as Ireland was um, when I was a teenager, before I went to university, uh, and going to live in a completely different society um, gave me a huge range of experience and understanding of people, which I don't think I would have had had I not left Ireland at that stage. And I had been writing from a very young age, but certainly that year that I spent in Spain, I began writing a great deal more. I didn't publish anything, but I was keeping journals and observations because I think when you're very young, and you move completely outside your comfort zone, everything is astonishing, everything is new. Ordinary things, ordinary details that native Spaniards wouldn't notice about daily life, for example, were fascinating to me. Even things like the different way mealtimes were organised and you know, the different ways the children went to school and the fact that they would go very early in the morning and I used to feel so sorry for them, they'd still be there at six o'clock in the evening. So there was all of this uh, type of thing that I was observing. So I think, in many ways, it kind of it attuned my antennae. It got me observing in a way that I mightn't have done had I not lived there at the age that I was. So it was a bit eye opening, I guess, going abroad and getting a bit of a different perspective on your own culture, I guess. Hugely. Absolutely. I think, you know, you can't if you're in any way sensitive or open to other influences. I don't think you can come back after a year like that away without having been changed. Uh, and I think that's certainly what happened to me. And there was also during that year, just the incredible joy of acquiring another language and acquiring it without rules or regulations, just learning to speak it uh, in a family situation and with friends. Um, and I came back very, very comfortable in both languages so that there wasn't, it, it never became to me an issue of making sure I had the right tense or making sure I had the right adverb or the right noun or that I was you know, making sure that things agreed. Communication was what that language experience was about. And that's something that has stayed with me as well, that it doesn't, you know, you don't have to wait until you have the perfect sentence formed. Communication is what it's all about. And have you found that there are specific things maybe in your writing or just in life in general that you can express better in Spanish maybe than you can in English? I think sometimes Spanish can be a, a much more precise language. Uh, and I know th th there's disagreement about this, but for me, uh, in terms of um, just certain things that I will experience, um, and I can remember, you know, just words that seem to be much more compact, uh, much more efficient to express them in Spanish than they were in English. Uh, and also, I think the logic of the language appeals to me as well in, in you know, uh, teaching English to foreign students, to Spanish students, as I did for many years. And they, they would ask questions, you know, but, but why? And I don't have an answer. And yet I could usually find my way around the grammar rules in Spanish because they they replicated themselves so, so logically. Uh, and I think it's in English, it's that lack of logic that throws students completely. I understand. I understand. So uh, just as far as the festival, what are you going to be reading as part of the festival or how are you going to be participating in the festival, I guess? Well, we have a panel discussion uh, today, which sounds very interesting. I have no idea how we're going to approach it, which is always the, the interesting bit. Uh, it's 
It's called Writers Without Scruples, uh, looking at intimacy, violence and humour in literature. But I'm sure, as with everything else, we'll range all over the place and talk about all sorts of different things. Wonderful. And are there any particular insights that you look to get from the Spanish writers that are part of the festival? Oh, I, I mean, yesterday I, I was here all, all afternoon yesterday and it was just it was just fantastic to sit and listen uh, to other people's experiences. And I think it was Elia Barcelo in particular when she was speaking. I just identified with so many of the things that she was saying. Uh, and, and it's wonderful that even though we come from different cultures and different backgrounds, that when you put writers together, that, the, that there's just so much in common. There's so much that we have that we can share. Uh, and, and I just felt that that sense of establishing a, a better link, you know, with festivals like this, that that's what they do. They establish links, not just between a small group of writers, but it has ripples and it goes outwards. Uh, and I hope this is something that will grow year on year. Wonderful. Well, thank you so much for joining us today and we look forward to hearing you today. Thank you. Thank Pleasure. you.